Welcome back to the Pulp Culture Movie Podcast, and today we're continuing on with Jim Carrey June with Bruce Almighty. Back to you, fuckers. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this is only PG-13. I didn't check the actual rating, but that's probably yeah, probably. The There's, There's a only couple swear they were allowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you notice the director too? I did. Uh, I didn't write it down. It's uh, Tom Shadyak again. And I was like, oh, Tom. Oh, Shadyak. true. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just I've been noticing that every I, like every every Jim Carrey movie, like comedy we've been doing. Like, of course, Liar Liar to yeah. Ace Ventura. I did him and the Gar- Ferrelli brothers. Guarantee he did it. Yeah, Ferrelli brothers as well. But I, I bet you Tom Shadyak did Ace Ventura too. Uh, we didn't do it, but I bet you he did the sack one too. He likes oh, to yeah. work with like the kooky, like the yeah, like the the weird Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah, he's good in this. Yeah, I yeah, think this was this. like his like like his farewell to his like comedy streak movie yeah yeah you can almost tell by the end like he was kind of almost like losing his like taste for it almost yeah or like uh, like he's almost like with all the religion that's in this movie which is kind of shocking too i haven't yeah. seen it in a long time but like a lot of the talk of god and and like morgan freeman being god and the prayers they don't yeah, mention it but it is definitely very catholic <laughs> yeah it is but they yeah, never like actually mentioned Jennifer it by Anderson's name, though. Praying in the room, I was like, "Yeah, it's pretty hardcore." Like, Please, God. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "Yeah, it's, people look at it differently today." I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking May twenty third, two thousand three. You know, I was doing my first stint at Blockbuster. I remember it. I was at the Bayfield Mall or the Bayfield one. Oh yeah. I remember I, this. Uh, I remember this well some... when this came out. I remember well. <laughs> yeah, yeah so do I actually. Now what's there? I think it's uh like a. Uh, like fat bastard burritos is it is a fat yeah something like that i love like burrito boys or something like that stuff's good yeah Yeah, i love love burritos yeah yeah i like a lot of mexican i'm a big taco guy speaking of speaking of mexican i just uh booked a trip to mexico oh did you yeah yeah that's cool you know what sucks i think i'm going end of october oh that does suck yeah. Like not oh, you... like I think uh, like 28th, 29th, because oh, I'm gonna go because the they do the Day of the Dead parade on the 31st, so I wanted oh, to make okay. it for that. Ah, uh, for Halloween. Maybe not though. We haven't booked it yet, so we'll see what's cheaper. But yeah, I wanted to do that, but sucks. Couldn't yeah. do that. Well, I thought about the podcast right away. I was like, ah, oh, fucking you know, horror oh, movies we're... in October. Now, now, <laughs> now, now that I'm working too, I think we're gonna probably bring it down to like maybe two podcasts a month or a week. Yeah, now that, yeah that's awesome. working now. It's a little, it's a little different now to try to get the the schedules aligned with each other. In the editing, yeah, and editing. Fuck, I gotta go to bed to wake up for work. Yeah, yeah, I gotta wake Damn up tomorrow no. too, but not not too early. Eight o'clock, that's not too bad. No, anything before eight o'clock sucks, but eight o'clock's all right. Yeah. Well, yeah, so fucking eighty million dollar budget. Fucking, they got that Jim Carrey money again. <laughs> 80 million, close, eh? Oh, yeah, shit. fucking close to 500 million, though. Oh, really? Million. Yeah, yeah well, it's like good. Standard. That Jim Carrey effect for, yeah. for like almost 10 years, 94 to 2003. Because then I think wow. he did the number 23. Well, well when, we do, <laughs> when we do that, we could check out the box office. I don't think it did very as well. No, that's uh, Joel Schumacher, too, eh? Is this Schumacher? Hey, yeah. yeah. Did you, already, you already watch it? Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm going to probably watch it the next couple of days. I think that's our next one, number 23, and then we're going to do, like, Earth, Earth Girls are easy. Or and not then, doing Cable Guy? Uh, well, we'll see with, with the schedules, how everything lines up. But okay. we'll probably get Cable Guy in there, too. Maybe that maybe that instead of Earth Girls. Yeah, I'm down cable, cable, cable Guy is more of a Jim Carrey movie, and uh, Earth Girls are easy is more... That's more yeah, like uh, Jeff Goldblum and Damon Wayans, and he's like the third guy. <laughs> It's like Adam Sandler and Airheads. Yeah. You almost like sometimes you forget he's in it. You go, like, oh, yeah, Adam Sandler is in Airheads. <laughs> that, that's like a Brendan Fraser movie, though, big time. Yeah. Because he, he's like fucking. He owned the 90s pretty good, too, Brendan Fraser. He was in quite a few big ones, even like the early, early 2000s. Yeah, Mummy and. Yeah, that Mummy trilogy was pretty well. The Looney Tunes back in action, as that yeah. was called. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, they're trying to like do the Space Jam thing or like Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It was bad mm-hmm. though. Yeah, right, the I think Mummy I did. Trilogy. Yeah, the Mummy Trilogy was a big one. Or four of them. Whatever. Yeah, so I'm thinking like Spyglass Productions would put the most money in because they're the first ones to go in this. Because then you get yeah, Universal right? after that. I bet you Universal probably distributed it, but yeah. Spyglass probably put up all the money. Well, if you get Jim Carrey in a movie, fuck. Yeah, look at, you're look at the money. Like, well, back then, I don't, know, I don't know if he's as much a draw anymore because he took like a, all of that time off. Like Sonic, but Sonic is because of Sonic. Yeah. I think that's why you know, like kids and stuff. And... Yeah, it's a win-win for marketing. You got Jim Carrey fans and you got fucking video game fans. Yeah, there's like some people pretty heavy into the Sonic the Hedgehog too. It's like fucking really like super fans of Sonic the Hedgehog. Really, eh? Oh, yeah. There's one I was never, I was never huge into it, but I, 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 I like it. it like, I, yeah, yeah, I like the games. Like Sonic, Sonic 2 is one of the best Sega Genesis games, in my opinion. A lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, uh, it's all about Jim Carrey. He's a reporter, and uh, he's doing like a fluff piece at the beginning of this movie with the cookie. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty the, funny. The, the big cookie. <laughs> yeah. He was like picking his nose in the background of the chef. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen that guy before too. That's another one of the like, hey, that guy. I don't know his name though, <laughs> but I've seen. I definitely see him in a, in, a, in a bunch of shit. And yeah, I'm talking ten feet four inches. I'll probably fucking plow down that fucking cookie and get all big. <laughs> eat a giant cookie, <laughs> especially if it's still warm. Oh, fuck. oh yeah, ice cream off. on that shit, and I'll be uh... good. <laughs> yeah yeah and the fucking dog in this movie i'd be so pissed if my dog kept on pissing oh, on shit fuck, yeah it's like it brings a whole chair outside <laughs> yeah Here's yeah me. yeah like i've I lived with people yeah. with cats that are fucking the male cats are pissing on everything there's that's fucking nightmare yeah yeah it's just now though the entire place smells like cat piss it's like this is fucking not cool I had a fucking roommate when I first moved here. The cat kept a pissing on my bed. It sucked. Uh, I don't know why. I got like sneak out to smoke a joint and I come back. I lie down and I lie in cat piss. I'm like, you fucker. I was always uh, so pissed. Man. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I hate because I forget sometimes I forget to shut the door. And every time I forget to shut the door, because like, the cat was weird, but it was like a dumpster cat. <laughs> he literally he literally found the cat in the dumpster and adopted it. It was a skinny little frail fucking ugly like one of the ugliest cats i've ever seen <laughs> but yeah you know it's funny too the fucking toronto, toronto maple leaves beat the yeah uh, the, the buffalo sabers yeah i noticed that too that was awesome like, yeah, the leaves yeah, yeah <laughs> it's funny because the, the the buffalo sabers they win the cup in this and they, <laughs> yeah. they, they, they riot yeah <laughs> it, it happens though it does yeah. happen Everyone well, won the lottery and they only won like, 17 bucks. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> won 17 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, because he just granted everybody's wish. Which you can't yeah. do. I can see why, like, because he, like, all the Tom Shee, well, not a lot of them, but like, Larry Larry kind of goes through the same kind of arc a little bit, like, becoming a good person by the end. And yeah. Getting, you know, like, it's a little different because he he's, doesn't get a power in Larry Larry, but he's, he loses the ability. Is it kind of the same? Liar Liar is better, though, than this, I'd have to say. Yeah. Yeah, this one, it just kind of felt like he was kind of losing his his touch by the end of this movie. He's making a lot of weird faces, uh, like, to God, like, some weird smiley faces to Morgan Freeman at the end of this movie. Yeah. Like, it's funny. why he looks so weird, Jim? Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> he's, he's just, like, gleaming, and I was like, oh, are you like, what, do you become religious? Is <laughs> yeah. You go through, like, a religious face? I know people like that. Kind of. Yeah, it was a good chance with it. He's like, yeah, he's I, 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 I know what you mean though. Like, he didn't really sell it well though. It's like he was trying nah. too hard, and it, yeah, I, I, I think he just didn't. I just don't think he's religious, and it kind of shows in yeah. those. Well, he could in those. He could have been like super religious for like a week while they're making this movie. Yeah, because like, he, yeah. he, like, hey, he could have been brainwashed or something too. I've seen that happen. I've had friends with that. All of a sudden, they they take to God real hard. It's like, oh, really? Seriously, <laughs> like it brainwashed. It bugs me too because it's these people brainwashing them. Shouldn't talk too much about that. That's fucking religion. <laughs> but I guess it ties in with this movie. Yeah, it kind of does. 
But of course, we can't talk about this movie without talking about Jennifer Aniston. She's like, what, yeah. come right off of Friends, basically. Yeah, it's literally like the year or the year after it ended. Is this what, 2003? 2003, yeah. Yeah, I think Friends I think ended, it's, uh, ended 2004. Was it 2004? So she's still doing yeah. Friends at this time. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. she, she was right in the middle of uh, Friends when she did Office Space. Yeah. And it, like her career really started taking off. Like the rest yeah, of them, she, like, she had a few bombs. Like when she, like, yeah, simply well, irresistible, and it happens. Yeah, Lou like, fucking uh, what's his name, uh, Matt LeBlanc. He really just he. Well, I guess he's doing it right now. I think he, one of his sitcoms that he was doing was pretty good. He did pretty well. Yeah, episodes. But like the same with uh, fucking Matthew Perry he had a rough time too. But yeah. the whole nine yards was all right. But he made a couple flops. Yeah. It was uh, Lisa Kudrow did. Uh, with Romeo and Michelle's high school reunion. Oh yeah, with M- uh, Michelle Williams. No, oh, no. with uh, I think it's Mina, or no. Uh, what's her name? She won an Oscar for Mighty Aphrodite. Oh, what the hell? It's some weird name. The the what the Woody Allen movie. She's in like uh, Mimic. I think she's in Mim- Mimic. Mimic, like yeah, the, the Toro. Yeah. Oh, and I know you're talking about that. The... The, the lead actress? M, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 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 I don't know her name, but yeah. I yeah, know I'd say it's some like it's almost like a Norwegian name or something like that. I keep on thinking Mina Safari, but that's that's the girl from American Beauty and American Pie. Something yeah. like that, though. I've seen her in a movie recently. What Mina Safari? Yeah. I haven't seen her in a minute. I Where did I see her? her? Oh, it was in no, no, it wasn't. Never mind. Maybe it was legally blonde. I watched it. Oh, I should have waited. <laughs> nah, fuck it. Nah, fuck it. I'll watch watch it again. I love, I love that movie. I love it. Of course, like uh, it. this is like Steve Carell too. Before Steve Carell really was big. Yeah, it's Jesse Ford, Forty Old Virgin, and like Anchorman. Because Anchorman yeah. kind of was it. Well, I guess he was on uh, what uh, the Daily Show with John Stewart. I don't know. I think that was a little was bit like, parts. Like yeah, a lot of people got their start on the Daily the Daily Show. Uh, yeah. Fucking, uh, of course, Steve Carell and uh, the other guy. Last week, John Oliver. John Oliver got to start on yeah. Daily Show too. Yeah, he uh, he co-wrote Forty Old Virgin. Was Steve uh, Carell? I, yeah, I saw in the credits yeah. last time. I was like, oh, I didn't spot that before. Yeah, yeah. Maybe now, he was now a writer first. Looking for the stuff. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> yeah, and then the boss. Of course, he just passed away like fucking last week. The fucking the, the the guy the guy that was running the the news the news station. Oh really? That yeah. actor? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he shit. just uh, that, he was like one of the like the more yeah, uh, iconic parts of uh, Seinfeld. I forgot I was in this. I'm like, oh fuck, it's that guy. He just died like mm. last week. Shit. Yeah, because he he played Bookman in like a classic episode of Seinfeld. And that's what he's really known for, most mm-hmm. mostly to Seinfeld fans. And Seinfeld was massive, of course. And fucking uh, Bruce is, he's all kind of disillusioned from his job because he's doing pop pieces and he's fucking losing out to, to Evan. And of yeah. course, we also can't talk about Evan without mentioning Evan Almighty, too. Oh, yeah. Fuck which that is garbage. like, yeah, I was, I was looking at the box office and it fucking flopped. And it was like, <laughs> they cost like, I think, close to $200 million for that movie, too. Yeah. Because I it, think. Uh, Steve Carell got popular, so they decided to do a sequel. Really they also did that. They like built sets for that too. Like they built that arc and stuff like that. They did some crazy shit for that movie, and oh, it flopped. No yeah, the Steve Carell was no draw by that point, though. It was weird. No. To... Yeah, I guess he was. Fast. What Despicable Me probably came out by that point. I don't was... think so. And there's a new I... one coming too. Ugh. I'm so not watching. No, it's not Despicable no. Me. It's. Uh... It's a Minions movie. Min- oh, uh, yeah. Fuck those things. <laughs> the I, Rise I, of Gru. I try to watch the, the first one like 20 minutes in. I'm like, I can't. Yeah. I, I, the I way they it talk anymore. Like, no, no. They're good in, in spurts, like in despicable. Like, just yeah. like, like for like a minute. It's not centered. <laughs> not a whole movie about them. It's like, oh, God. They're oh, really fucking annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but kids like them. So I understand. It's like cars yeah. and shit. Cars. You see, fucking Lightyear. Failed, man. Yeah, Bomb. no, it's terrible. Well, it's something thing. like as a Toy Story fan, it's not something they wanted. Did you they hear didn't... like Ch- China was boycotting them because there's like a 
there's the same sex kissing it. So like that's a uh, the whole fucking shit show around. For some reason, they decided to put a same sex kiss in it, which is just kind of just because it kind of created like controversy and I think that really t- t- like turned people off to Buzz Lightyear and no Tim Allen. Although yeah. a lot of people are like confused when they're watching the trailer, like, wait, it what? Make sense. <laughs> uh, why? Why is it Tim Allen? What? <laughs> it's just bizarre. I'm gonna watch it, but I just yeah, I have to watch it. That's a problem. No, no rush to really see it. No. Just funny because uh, uh, Jurassic Park beat it, and fucking Top Gun, best fucking movie of the year, or like highest yeah. grossing. Yeah, it was amazing. Villain. Did you watch it? Yeah, I saw it with my dad at the theater. Oh, you saw it at the theater? Hey, eh? here yeah, it's uh, like, good, good, good at the theater too. Like 4D with the moving chairs and shit. Oh and yeah, that. well that's we heard like, it was uh, so good, so I was like, yeah, we should pay top dollar. Yeah, to see this. Here the the cinematography is pretty good, and all like yeah. all the the, the dog fights. The action, not enough, not yeah. enough of those type of dog movies. Like no, dog fights are key. A, yeah. The key. <laughs> like the original Top Gun's amazing for that reason. The rest of yeah. it's all right, but like when they actually start getting into the air with all and getting on the jets, it's cool. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, this this Top Gun's better. <laughs> oh yeah, well that it's like I, I was never a huge well, fan yeah. of the first Top Gun. Like I liked it, but I didn't love it. Yeah, this one was way better. Yeah, and it's got all the apparently it hit all the beats that it needed to with like the music and everything. Yeah, got, like, everything it's yeah. got like Danger Zone in it and the theme. The, the Top Gun theme is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it is. Bow, 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 bow. yeah, I used to be remember Red when uh, Wonderland was Paramount, so, Paramount's, uh, yeah, Canada's Wonderland, and the yeah, Top, yeah, Gun the Top Gun was Gun the ride. ride. So, yeah. we were waiting in line, you're always hearing that music and like, it had, like the jet there. And yeah, the, ride's, cool. the ride is annoying too, though, because it like, <clears throat> so if you don't keep your head back, your fucking head's back bouncing off the fucking shoulder thing, yeah. I was like, uh, cause you, you don't really, cause you're going so fast too. You're just, <laughs> it's like, oh, I didn't really get to enjoy that. It was, yeah. the G's are kind of crazy though. It was a fun ride, I guess. I've been a yeah. fucking roller roller coaster in like decades, man. Yeah, it's been like, like five years. And you live like fucking like forty minutes away from Wonderland. Yeah, I never have an urge to go. It's too many lineups and weights. And yeah, you gotta. I just say, yeah, I always say, what well, with Wonderland, the best time is to go is uh, like a rainy Tuesday or like a September when kids are back in school. Yeah, it's always a good one too. Yeah, in October. Yeah, well, October too, like a fucking rainy Tuesday on a, in October. Oh yeah. Not like you know when you can just walk on or just stay on the ride because there's nobody in line. Yeah, I'll go again. Fuck it. <laughs> it was a good time. It was a good time. So fucking Evan screwing over Jim Carrey. It's he's kind of a prick. Jim Carrey's a prick to him though. So it's like it's understandable. It's competition trying to get the job. But like I, I don't really like. I don't dislike Evan in this movie because he's just trying to get a job too. Yeah. And like at the end, he's like, yeah, because you can see he's probably the better one of the two. Yeah. Because he even like uh, Steve Carell went on and. Became like a, like an anchor man in another show. What was that? The morning show. With Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> yeah, which isn't bad. It's not bad. Yeah, it's good it's not actually. Bad. Yeah, is it not... Reese Witherspoon too? Yeah, Reese Witherspoon too. Yeah, yeah I like her yeah. too. See, I like the newsroom too with Jeff Daniels. So like, I like yeah, that, that was good. stuff a lot. That was yeah, good. yeah, yeah. So, that one was good because it was a lot of. Uh, I think the uh, morning show did that too. It was a lot of current stuff. Like actually, they, they talk about. Yeah, like, like 9-11 was a big thing in the newsroom and stuff like that. Because, of course, that was like the biggest news story ever. <laughs> yeah, literally. And then the, the war that happened afterwards, they like, get all fucking footage. It's craziness. <laughs> yeah, over 20 yeah. years ago. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Fucking it was like last show. year. Yeah. Yeah, with well, the Freedom Towers up and everything. We're just talking about that. Somebody I work with, one of the people... He, uh, his like uncle worked on building the Freedom Tower. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's neat. He got like free that's tickets to go to like an NFL game. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. yeah, like I say, fucking Bruce loses the anchor job. And he's uh, now he's all like, it's almost like the mask too. Where you feel, feel bad for him for the first, like first act of this movie. Yeah, it is kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. Until he gets the powers, until he gets the mask. So, like, it's like it is like his other ones, and like liar, liar a little bit, a little bit of the mask. Yeah, yeah, and then he like he's fucking uh, what like t- 
telling God off a bunch of times and yeah, smite me, almighty smiter. <laughs> fucking Morgan Freeman is such a perfect uh yeah, he is <laughs> like perfect for that role. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like I've never well, I guess I have. He's been in some crappy movies, yeah, but, but more more like he's, he's been crappy. in some of the yeah, well, he's just what's that? Now you see me, he's kind of just in it. There's a couple movies he's just kind of in. <laughs> it's yeah, like, oh, weird. Oh, Morgan Freeman's in this. <laughs> yeah. It's a wanted. It's in a bunch yeah, of, like, he's a bad guy. Shit. in wanted too. Yeah. Spar- sorry for spoilers, but wanted was all right. It was all right. It's kind of cool with the gun with the bullets. <laughs> like, yeah, like, curve the bullets. Uh, that's kind of it's, cool. it's kind of film like. Fight Club with guns. Do you get that vibe from it? Man, I should watch the it. Again. I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't seen Still it in like a long Club. time. I just remember. I remember like not hating it. The like, yeah, guy was all right. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. Yeah, like you it's know, pretty you much. Know, like, a, like a lot of Angel has so, been in some shit too. Yeah, that's when she had the Mr. And Mrs. Smith. Yeah, but that's only not, only all right at best too. Like it's nothing yeah. I would say. Like like I wouldn't be like, oh fuck, I should watch Mr. And Mrs. Smith again. <laughs> okay, I don't know if all that'll ever happen. We're uh, we're be like, hey, I should watch it again. It's one of those. Brad Pitt's been in some of those movies too. Yeah. What else was she in? Salt. That was the other one. She was Salt in. was one that I probably never put on again. Yeah. Watch <laughs> yeah, it would, it, like, yeah. I never really saw a Girl Interrupted, and I think she won her the Oscar for that. Oh, that makes sense. I, I may have seen it once, but like, it's not like once again. Been on a rider like, too. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I don't know if I saw that fully through actually. Yeah, and of course, but, the two mid movies, and what else? She hasn't done anything in a long time. She just was fucking hot, so everybody's like, holy fuck. <laughs> I think she uh, she made a movie that wasn't that good, and it was written by the Coen brothers. Really? Yeah, I remember reading about it when was it that, came was out, that, and the, it was like reviewed one with bad. Johnny Depp, that one was bad, too. Oh, no, that's, what's that? The, the Tourist. The, the, the Tourist, yeah. yeah. yeah oh, fuck, I almost saw that in theater. Thank God we didn't go. Yeah, I hear it could be in uh, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice 2. Oh, really? Uh, they're, they're trying to, because it's going to be Tim Burton, so. It's like, yeah, that isn't too shocking that Tim Burton's trying to bring Jim Johnny Depp in. Yeah. It might, it might be good. I'm going to wait and see, but I, like, I'm not really amped for it. Like, uh, well, because I, I think he lost the the Pirates. Yeah, he might, he he might come a, back. He's attached to another moneymaker. They, they, they might reboot it and bring him back or something. Maybe. <laughs> See, it he does might. make... Though, that series did make money. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just I stopped after the first one. I stopped after. I think it was the third one was the last one I actually watched. Yeah, it's funny because I, like, I went and saw the third one without seeing the second one, and they're like literally linked to each other. So I'm I'm I, like I just went by myself because I was bored. I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll go watch the new Pirates movie. And then I like I'm in there. I'm like, I have no idea what's going on because <laughs> he had to watch the the movie prior to it to know what yeah. the characters and shit. So like I thought maybe I could just pick it up. And I'm like, I really have no idea any of these characters. I'm like, I just I I walked out actually because <laughs> I didn't know what was yeah. going on. Uh, I walked out of uh, Blade Three. Yeah, and uh, uh, I think Goblet of Fire. Well, yeah, like I think I watched that uh, on DVD. I think I, first time I didn't wasn't it. I saw Blade Two in theaters. Yeah, I really like Blade Two. Another. Oh movie. yeah, so do I, for sure. Yeah, it's funny because there were there's a part where Evan or where Bruce uh, freezes and they're like, oh, he's pulling a Walt Disney, and I was like, wow. Well, I should have looked it up. Yeah, I remember what him is, saying that. What does that oh, mean? It, it's like cold, did, like like he froze up on screen. Did Walt Disney one time freeze on screen during something? No, he uh, Walt Disney's frozen. Like he's oh, that's why because he yeah. froze. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I oh, thought yeah. it might have been like he, but uh, that makes some more sense that he's that the he because he cryogenically froze himself for and gonna refreeze himself when they have the technology to cure some disease, which I'll probably do. It's gonna end up like is, is that is that how it is? Yeah, that's what he did. <laughs> I didn't yeah, know the full long, story on that. Once I they have the tech, he... technology to uh, revive him properly as well, so they have to. I don't so think we have. Where that is yet. he? I don't know. They probably have him fucking Disney. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> probably like some keeping bodies. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, we got Rob Williams down here. We got fucking. <laughs> yeah. Now, Walt Jesus. Disney's like he created like probably the biggest fucking company on the planet. It's crazy. Yeah. Now, now it's like we, yeah, it's getting there. It's one of the big ones. It's like that and Amazon. 
Same like yesterday. It's yeah. it like a, like a couple things that are going to take over the planet. I was watching something about Amazon too, about how like, oh no, it was John Oliver. I think was talking about it. How Amazon owns the search big time, and like they pay they pay Google to do a whole thing. Oh, like, okay. to like have their product on their. Hell yeah! Pop-up. So like, if you're not on Amazon, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I love Amazon. Yeah, you know, it it's, it's good for us, but it's bad for like companies trying to start up and stuff like that. Yeah, no, like, just have a bunch of like Amazon warehouses everywhere. That's what everyone's job's going to be. <laughs> yeah, a for fucking much. package handler. <laughs> yeah, be all fucking like retail oh, yeah, robots inside, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. and they're getting like uh, drones to deliver packages now too. Yeah, they're it's, they're uh, mostly doing Domino's delivered a pizza in it. Oh wait, they're in Barry. What no, like uh, oh. I think it's somewhere in the states, but they just yeah, didn't I think to do the, it. The, but the states are getting close to starting to do, do that more. Yeah. We I don't think we're because we always we're like probably probably about five years behind the, what the states do, maybe yeah. even more. You gotta support your community too. Like, yeah, like, take away like delivery drivers. Like now they don't have a job, so he becomes God. Fucking Morgan Freeman gives him all his powers. It's going to be hard to believe right away because he, of course, he's skeptical. <laughs> he's like, wait, you're God? What the fuck? Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, yeah another couple of couple fun, funny scenes. It's geek. Geek. <laughs> he's saying, he was like, he was trying to do, it was funny that Morgan Freeman says the all righty, all righty then line. I'm like, yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah, After that was funny. I laughed. Like, all righty then. And like, he said, like, kind of said it like, like him too. Yeah. Man, you know that was a, <laughs> definitely a nod to it. Yeah, hundred percent. I remember. Uh, yeah, I laughed when I saw that. <laughs> Never noticed that before. So yeah. we watch them all in a row. Yeah, yeah. I haven't watched this movie probably in 10, 15 years. <laughs> it's been a while. Liar, liar. The same joke. The yeah. You make some people make money doing that. Like kids yeah. make that weird face. Yeah. It's like same joke, <laughs> kind of. Then we get like a boob thing in this too. Jennifer Anis is like, "Are my boobs bigger?" <laughs> like, hey. oh yeah, it might, it might be Dutch Tom Shadyak being the boob guy. Yeah, or like the same writers or something, because <laughs> it's like so that definitely consistent with a lot of the movies yeah. that we've watched. It it is funny though, because like if a guy had those powers, it comes onto his wife. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, she's still pretty good looking, man. Fucking Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, she, she's she's a knockout. Yeah, yeah. It's tough to say because Brad Pitt fucking had them both her and Angelina. I'm like, who's better looking? That's like the the the, the main main question from like the early 2000s. Who's better looking, Jennifer Aniston or uh, Angelina? Angelina. Every, Ooh, I don't like Angelina. Everybody was in like either or, like one boat or the other. I like Angelina better. So about her. Those lips and fucking crazy body. It's like holy crap, yeah, she's fucking hot. And like the dark hair, I'm always uh, I'm a sucker of the dark hair, <laughs> the fucking bright blue eyes too, of course. I'm like, oh, I'm a sucker for that, but like, no, Jennifer Anderson still slush show too. I'm yeah. like, yeah, fucking Brad Pitt's a lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, only Brad Pitt could do that. Yeah, man. Because it was like, what was it? Probably 2000 when Brad Pitt was on Friends with Jennifer Anderson there. Really? Yeah, funny season episode. eight, so it'd be like 2002. Was it 2002? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, season it's eight, funny, funny, I think funny that you can. Five. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. That's what it's a funny episode, back. though. <laughs> yeah, he's, it all, is. he's all pissed off at her. Yeah, it's like the Thanksgiving episode. Yeah, yams, was... yams. Because <laughs> 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 yeah, he, he, for, for like, he's got a pretty good comedic, comedic timing. I'll get. Yeah, when he tries, that. he does. Burn after reading, he's funny. Yeah, I should watch that again too. Fucking huge cast. Yeah, like that. And, uh, what's that? The one with. George Clooney. They just came out like six, 2016, I think. Like Hail Caesar, I think it's called. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they had a fucking big cast too. Mm-hmm. That's also fucking Coen Brothers. They work with a lot of the best. Be true grit too, and fucking. Uh, Fargo's hey, pretty like, started, kind of. Fargo, yeah. Well, Fargo, yeah. they're they're all really getting started. Like Steve yeah. Buscemi is still coming up, and uh, Frances McDormand, she was like there, but like, nobody really knew who she was. Yeah, and now she's she's, in, she's almost she was in Raising Arizona too, because she yeah. she's married to I think Ethan Cohen. Oh, is she? Or maybe it's yeah, Joel. She, they did uh, three billboards, didn't they? Is that's a Cohen brother? No, no it isn't. I don't think no. it is. No, 
God, that they, movie was good. That movie yeah, was good. That, that movie was really good. Yeah. Sam Rockwell, too. Yeah. Well, they're both good in that. They both yeah, won. They all are. I, yeah. I was happy with that because I hope they won the acting. And then I remember Jordan Peele won the screenplay. It was the same year. Yeah. I was like, and Shape of Water won Best Picture. I was like, yeah, that wasn't a bad Oscars. Yeah. Ain't none of that. No. No, we got his, his like, I guess, main line in this is B-E- B-E-A- beautiful. beautiful. B-E- yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's kind of a late line. I don't know. Or it's, it's, like, uh, his, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, they're they're yeah. like you know he's he's aging. You can tell in this yeah. movie, like like his yeah. comedy itself is is aging. Yeah, you can tell it was a little bit more played out. He just didn't want to keep on doing it. He's like, I don't want to be that guy anymore because it's like I, that's why, I, like I was saying, I want to check out the number twenty three and see the with like that the year it came out and of course the box office budget. But you said it was Schumacher too, eh? It sounds yeah. like that, right because it's like a darker, darker movie. Yeah, it's like when he what's that eight millimeter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did that too, like, didn't he? It was probably yeah. it was like they're close together, I think. Uh, Flatliners is pretty dark too. That oh yeah, fun. Flatliners is dark. great, great movie. Kiefer's Kiefer's always like that too. Like he's Kiefer's like one of those actors that really can't be in a good comedy. <laughs> no. Like I don't think I don't think he's ever been in a comedy, man. <laughs> well, he was in uh he, he's in Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me, the movie. He's in like the yeah, first half uh, of it. That he's isn't like really a, a comedy though. <laughs> yeah, they do comedy things, but no, it's not. Yeah, but like I wouldn't say like like something like a yeah, Jim Carrey movie or something. No, keep it like, like, like fucking a uh, few good men, time to kill, uh <laughs> lost boys and fucking he's always the bad guy too. Yeah. <laughs> he's like Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon's played a lot of bad guys too. Yeah, he's, he's been a real. up and down career also. Yeah, he was just on uh fucking hot ones telling an interesting story about uh Apollo 13. Well, you know those planes that they dip down real quick and they, yeah. they give you like that anti grav, uh, like feel like you you start floating. Yeah, yeah. That's how they that's how they filmed fucking in Apollo 13. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, yeah, he's like, yeah, it was a fucking interesting way of shooting. So he's like, six months in a row, we were doing the fucking dive and do all the stuff when they're like actually in Apollo 13. Bill Paxton yeah. and uh, Tom Hanks, also a great movie. Yeah, I that fucking is love that type of stuff. Love that. I've been very interested in like the space shit like that. But, like that type of realistic space stuff is cool. Yeah, like gravity. That's why. Yeah, yeah, gravity's good too. Gravity's a tough one though. That won't give you a fucking anxiety attack. Watching. Yeah, that I I didn't enjoy myself watching that. <laughs> no. I really no, did. Because like when, at the very end, she's still she's trying spinning. to get out. Like, <laughs> She's yeah. spinning and she can't stop. That was like, oh my god! Like I wanted to fucking yeah, that, turn like, that uh, off, man. It's horrifying. We're, we're talking about Top Gun. Like that one is also meant to be seen in theaters. The uh, the gravity is more yeah. like the way that it should, they should the cinematography. It's especially three D too. It's it's more of a like a theater experience. Well, was it Ang Lee? No, that's uh, Alfonso Cuarón or uh, uh, there was one of the the two of them. Yeah, no, I, I think they, yeah. Same year. It might be Chrome, but I think it might be the other guy. It's like two like guys from out of Mexico. I'm trying to uh, remember the, the other guy. Uh t- he did uh, maybe he did no Alfonso Crone did Children of Men. Like I said, I get them both mixed up. Yeah. Both good movies. Yeah. Children of Men's a great movie. Yeah, Children of Men's amazing, man. Yeah. Then he went on and did like Birdman, I think. Might be yeah. another guy that did Birdman. I know. It's the, <laughs> the one guy is Alessandro. Alessandro is in your in a Rutu or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I get them mixed up with each other. Yeah, because like the guy that did the Revenant, I think was Crone. I'm pretty sure. Which was good, but that's not okay. one that I'd be like, I'm gonna watch the Revenant again. <laughs> no, yeah, that's what it sucks. It's like that's why you won your Oscar. Like when people it's look good, back, it, like it it's, put it's himself through hell in that movie. It's that's why he won it. Like he's in the ice cold water. Yeah, he's like, 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 what do I gotta do? Yeah. What do I gotta do to win? <laughs> yeah, that's that's why he won it. I, yeah. I, I don't know. I can't remember who he was like, against what, that year. What other great performance can I give you? You yeah. can just nominate me. Yeah. Not not he, well, he was, for Titanic. Like, joke. Really good in Django too. Really good in oh, Wall yeah. Street. And really good in fucking uh, Departed. Oh, he's been like, Departed. He's been in, like a ton of shit. Okay. What's he eating? Gilbert Grape. Yeah, that he was nominated too. 
Yeah. I would like to see who won that year. So it was like 93, I think, that year. Something Best like Supporting Actor. So, yeah, I guess the whole point of Morgan Freeman, like, as God, he, he was giving the lesson about, like, be a good person and everything. So it gives him... Like going through it, that whole arc in, in the second act was probably the best part of this movie. Yeah. Yeah, like, it is. Uh, when he's doing the... the oh, the, the comedy the, comes the, out. The soup, yeah. And like he brings the moon in and just funny how... I was thinking about it too. I'm like, wait a second. If he do, does that, it's going to... It will create like different gravity and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it, it, it created like a... Uh, like a tidal wave in Japan or something like that, <laughs> <laughs> or in China. I'm like, that's kind of cool. I actually thought about that, and uh, <laughs> like, it would it would suck to have all those prayers coming into your head too. That'd be kind of annoying. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. It says yeah, okay to would, everything. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, he just, yes. He just, yeah, it's like like Homer from that episode with the when he's got the little little uh, the doc thing. When he's got the Moo Moo episode where Homer's oh like, yeah, it's like one of my favorite episodes of The Simpsons. And yeah. He goes away and he, the, the thing fell down. He's like creating like a nuclear power plant because uh, he almost did that a couple of times on The Simpsons. A meltdown. <laughs> Love the the college episode where he like almost melts the thing down. And he's like, there wasn't any even any uh, nuclear stuff in there. <laughs> I love that episode. That's my favorite episode of The Simpsons. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the call when he goes to college. <laughs> that that really, the, cl- the clown college one's good too. Both of the college episodes. Oh, the clown college, yeah, that was good. Yeah, and the one where he smokes weed is a good one too. We spoke with yeah. with Otto and stuff. That's a pr- pretty solid episode. I like the shitting. Yeah, well, that's like treehouse. That's a different different story. That, a different doesn't con- count conversation. No, yeah. I because I almost put that into like the best treehouse episodes. As opposed to yeah. those were always like the go-to for like I, uh, I still watch. I like the show. monorail. That's yeah, probably my favorite a good one. Episode. That yeah. one's like uh like big fucking Conan O'Brien episode, I think. Yeah, all the ones with Conan in yeah, they were the best. Like season yeah, yeah season four to eight. Yeah. Really good. And now now he's just doing it like a podcast. It's funny. Yeah. He, he's, he was done. Yeah, he, well, he's been doing it for so long. He was just like, hey, just I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> switch it up. Doing the same thing every day. It's like the fucking... Uh, Do you ever see the Larry Sanders show? No. Really shows you what goes into like making a daily show like that, like the Tonight Show. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Like, like the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, because there's a lot going on, especially like you got the writers every single day. Like you're working like like five days a week for the entire year, pretty much. Like, Conan went down to three, three days. He did Monday, Tuesday, or four days. He stopped doing it on a Friday for a while there. It's very interesting, though, like the whole behind the scenes. That's yeah, what they that is with, interesting. Uh, the Muppet Show. They, 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 there was like a new Muppet Show that was like The Office. And Miss Piggy was uh, like a Conan O'Brien type of thing. It was a good show, and I was pissed off that I got it because it was a different kind of concept for the Muppets. Pissed me off that they canceled it. You know, I was kind of liking it. It's kind of funny. I like the Muppets, though. So. Yeah, so then we get like all the stuff with like I am Bruce Almighty, <laughs> like all the lightning hitting and everything. Yeah, drops the name of the the movie. It really does sell. It fucking uh, Steve Crow just doesn't sell sell uh, Evan Evan Almighty. No, but like not I said, nearly. Just not my favorite comedic actor. I just yeah, I me neither. I was never a huge that fan. Funny. Yeah, like, I even, found, like even, Forty Old Virgin. That was like the big one for like, me. He's like the straight man though in that. All the real funny elements of that, it does kind of come from him, but it's all with, a lot with like the Seth Rogans and the, yeah, like the, that one guy from like Weeds, the black guy from Weeds. He's like, yeah. that guy's pretty funny too. Because then I was like, oh, this guy from fucking 40 Old Virgin, he's on Weeds. That's shit. Yeah. Fucking great, great show. Yeah, he, he's watching, well, uh, I think it's Dawn of the Dead, where he's in the store in 40 Old Virgin. It's like, bitch, get out of the room. Bitch, get out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny scene. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's funny. So he's also in uh, the Love, Love Guru, Guru, which yeah. I didn't, I didn't hate, man. It was like yeah, I, it wasn't that bad. I, I didn't it was love worse. it, but I didn't. I was like, it didn't because it was like it got all the uh, oh, what is it uh, the the crappy awards, the Razzies. Yeah. Won all the Razzies that year. Yeah, 
And most of the time, the Razzies are pretty, pretty accurate, pretty dead on. Most of the time. Jack and Jill. Yeah, well, I think Adam Sandler's like him and Stallone. I know Stallone was one a lot of them too. <laughs> he wanted one one for every Expendables movie, I think. Oh man, you gotta watch First Blood with him commentating the movie. Yeah, yeah we're fly, doing, it's do, so fucking funny. In September, we're gonna do the fucking First Blood. Sly. I do, I do like that fucking movie though. I like yeah, them all. First, first Blood, oh, like oh, except for maybe the last one, the the Last Blood was only all right but it's it was weird because he cut all his hair off yeah he didn't have the, like the rambo mullet i was like god this is weird it doesn't feel like a rambo movie without the rambo mullet yeah. <laughs> like in the the one before that i think it was yeah, just called rambo yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah this always like, made quite, me laugh <laughs> quite a few move, uh, memes that have come from that movie yeah, yeah. That one there. the one with him with the thumbs up i see that one all yeah. the time that's he's a badass like a, movie, though. Like a, the action scenes that, is, that is a that is a badass movie. When he's on the turret, the, like, the fifty cal bullets. Yeah, loading. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, yeah, maybe I should watch Last Blood again. I didn't hate it, but I just I remember it, it, but... it was like it's like uh like Home Alone. Yeah, kind of. He, he like he like trap. He sets all these traps in his in his in his house there, like these little bunkers and stuff. I didn't hate it though. Like I like I like Sebastian Stallone though. It's a pretty cool scene too. They got the that door song while he's. Playing the traps, uh, five to one, baby. One yeah. to five. Yeah, that's a dope song. Yeah, I should watch that movie again. I, one one day, I'll Stop. probably. Yeah. All right, so where are we now? Fucking, he's. I guess he's getting super frustrated, and like every like yeah, everything's going to hell. And there's riot outside. Yeah, like boom, boom, yeah, he only got me. Only got only won seventeen bucks. <laughs> trash in the place oh the riot yeah he's like yeah breaking news and i gotta go yeah. tell your susan <laughs> jumps so he jumps over things yeah, funny. So that's, <laughs> i didn't really like the whole thing with him and jennifer aniston that was kind of like she catches yeah it was kind of annoying yeah, yeah that's just, that's just been done so much it's just They're a love like, interest in a fucking formula movie it's yeah, so formulated they, they catch like he just as the girl kisses him the, she walks in. That, that's just been done to death. I'm like, I, yeah. I do like it. The, the other concept, the God concept, is pretty cool though. Yeah, like the whole like learning a lesson and like just be a good person, that type of thing. Yeah. So yeah, it's all going to hell, and he calls out for God and blah blah blah. <laughs> Morgan Freeman comes back, and like I was saying, Morgan Freeman's good. He really doesn't age either. It's funny because no, he, he never, doesn't. He looks, he looks the, the same. same. Yeah, as he did like dri- driving Miss Daisy. Which also a good yeah. movie. Yeah, that's also. a good movie too. Yeah. And uh, Unforgiven's a good movie. He's yeah, uh, Unforgiven's amazing, man. That movie's like, like I, I got like, uh, became a fan of Clint Eastwood, like his direction from that movie. Yeah, that was the first <laughs> movie I saw too. By him, like out of that he directed because I think he did yeah. like Bridges of Bridges of Madison County with Ugh, Meryl Streep. Ugh. I'm so like in the minority. Uh, with her. You ever seen? Kramer vs. Kramer? No, see, that was, was earlier good. stuff. It was good. Heard, uh, see, I like Dustin Hoffman too, though. Yeah. I've always it was been like, a, like he generally, Dustin Hoffman's pretty, he's all right. Like, I heard Huckabees was awesome. The fucking yeah, David or Russell movie. The movie yeah. fucking tripped me out, man. And I think I caught it on the new VR like at like 1 30 at night. I was like, hey, interesting. It was like after I saw, like, uh, what was David or Russell? He did Silver Linings First Playbook, one? I think. Like yeah. I'm just thinking of all those movies uh, and uh, American Hustle. Like I think I saw it after those. Yeah. Oh like, really? Ooh, David O. Russell. Cool. I didn't didn't know he directed this movie. <clears throat> you see the cast that movie. You're like, oh, I like the idea of it too. Yeah, that's cool. That's a cool movie actually. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg and shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. He's everywhere too. <laughs> no. Yeah, that that movie's pretty quotable. <laughs> people fucking ripped it apart. <laughs> it's fucking it's, weird. It does sound weird in that movie. That's that's Shyamalan though telling him to do that. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, he's a fucking weirdo man. What was he? He's trying to troll everybody. Yeah, that's what I think like, he's doing too. Is that <laughs> even old? Market this. Old felt like a troll movie too. What did old? old? Yeah, it kind yeah. of. Felt. The, the twist <laughs> in that was actually pretty good though. I didn't see it coming. Yeah, yeah. It was all right. Like I, I the twist was good. That's what you're waiting I for. Didn't, didn't hate on it, but it was yeah. it was kind of funny. Yeah. Certain <laughs> parts. 
<laughs> that's the, the kid from hereditary isn't that too the, yeah the, 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 he's like one of the kids that grows old real fast uh i can't wait for that robert eggers nosferatu man. that's gonna be awesome yeah. what yeah, a perfect director a, another one that i like always fuck with is blowing the foe most definitely yeah. oh 100 he's another one of those actors but he, he's also one another one that kind of really can't be in like a comedy either <laughs> yeah, you can't carry a whole movie like a like a like a keeper I, I you're like you, you yeah. wouldn't put well willem defoe like in a like a feel-good comedy <laughs> well it, <laughs> no man that'd be crazy right? that's just not, that's just not that, <laughs> that type because he is a he, he's played a bad guy a lot too i've yeah. seen him talk about Boondock. it too. He's like yeah i've played a lot of bad guys well he's, he's a good guy in, in boot yeah he's awesome in platoon he always awesome with a ton of shit. Yeah. With Platoon, I think he's, he either he may have won it that year for it. Did I, I didn't think did he has he won? I never know. I think I never, he may have won it for Platoon. I like I'm pretty sure he won Best Supporting Actor for Platoon. Oh, he's got oh, that, that, that like, I, I was thinking shot. Of, I didn't think he ever won that's an like Oscar. The, the cover of the fucking movie. Yeah, it's him with his arms up. Oh, and, that's I, what everyone parodies too. Is that scene. yeah? You see, you see it in a million fucking movies. Like some random yeah. scenes, like oh, he's doing the the platoon thing. Yeah, the Charlie Sheen too, and yeah. what's his name, Tom Berenger. You don't see you see him pop up every now and then in shit. Yeah, yeah, it's Tom Berenger. That's funny. It's like Steve Gutenberg. <laughs> really couldn't get over the hump. Poor Berenger couldn't <laughs> get over the hump either. But he was in platoon. You know, at least we yeah. had that. And the the substitute. I always remember and sniper. Can't forget sniper too. Substitute. Oh my god. Yeah, the substitute was like uh, fucking Dangerous Minds, but he's like CIA yeah. or something like that. I, I know, can't yeah, remember what that's it was. Terrible. The, the, I think High School High was parodying it. Do you ever see High School High? I own it on uh, 4K DVD. <laughs> I love that. Fucking, yeah, I love that movie. Would y'all love it? Like a run oh, no, so, no, oh, no, 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 no. Never mind. <laughs> no. I, no, no, what not are you that. Thinking of? No, I was no. thinking of Rock and Roll High School for some reason. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's like a seventies movie, it's like a high school movie, and the the Ramones are in it. And oh, really? It's like a punk yeah. punk movie. No, that's soundtrack. that's very very different than high yeah, school. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Where he's yeah, the, yeah he's it's in like the a high school. It's, yeah, oh, it's really God. bad. It's really it's not theaters actually. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, uh, I saw it on like, TBS. And I was like five or something. No, that movie one sucks. of those movies <laughs> john john lovitz is bad though like he just yeah. really like just terrible yeah he's, he's all right he's like in voice form because he's like what did like a bunch of simpsons episodes he's also the critic guy yeah, a bunch of shit yeah and they did the the simpsons critic crossover too that was a good episode <laughs> you know it's funny it's a ronnie dangerfield fucking simpsons yeah. episode <laughs> yeah, that one is good. one-liners while he's fucking <laughs> yeah. no that movie's so funny i mean that's true that episode yeah He's Mr. Mr. Burns' son. Yeah, it's good. He's like, oh, I got a wife and a kid. I should probably get home. <laughs> he fucking kills me. That's one guy that always has me laughing. He's so funny. Yeah. He's constant with one-liners. Yeah, he's he's definitely in the conversation for, like, goat of like, stand-up. <laughs> uh, he's also really funny in fucking Caddyshack. Oh, yeah. Like, really like, hey, it Caddyshack, looks good on you. Like, yeah, it's so funny. Like, competing with Bill Murray, too. Like who was better in that movie? Like Bill Murray or fucking Rodney Dangerfield? Rodney Dangerfield was. It's, it's tough. Bill Murray's pretty fun, but he's not I, really I, in it as much. But he's only really got those scenes with the golfer and shit. Yeah, and I, and I, I the way he talked really bothered me. In he eats, uh, eats the the chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I like that movie a lot actually. The, the yeah, Caddyshack's stuff, that's, awesome. Yeah, it's one of the Caddyshack's best comedies awesome. of all time. I yeah, think. it's up there. Like yeah, top twenty. Very, like that in Animal House. Like, yeah, like House those awesome. are, are both uh uh landis something something john landis i think did like fucking animal house caddyshack hill ramus too hill ramus was right in there with him too hill ramus also was in stripes with bill murray oh and, yeah, uh, yeah yeah and he's also fucking in ghostbusters <laughs> i like john landis yeah good john landis or uh for ghostbusters was uh yeah. ivan right Re- reitman i have reitman yeah and Harold Ramis and Dan Aykroyd. John Landis, yeah, he did Trading Places, right? American Wealth and, in London. Yeah, American Wealth yeah. in London. And uh, like I said, Animal House, Caddyshack. Yeah. yeah. I think it was like part big part of the... Uh, what is it? Not Mad TV, but... No, National Lampoon. Because National oh, Lampoon yeah. was like big in the 60s. 
and like that's it. Then it's like uh, Lorne Michaels came and like stole them all for Saturday Night Live. Yeah, I watched the the documentary on that. Yeah, it's pretty good yeah. actually. I yeah, like it I like learning about because I I like SNL. I like that the history Goodbye. of SNL. It's it's very interesting to me because it's been on for like forty five years or something fucking crazy like that. Lorne Michaels still fucking kicking. Uh, something's going on though. Like I just read that A. Bryant came out because she just quit SNL. I think something was going on because they all like Kate McKinnon left, uh, Edie Bryant left, uh, Pete Davidson left, uh, oh, so, like all the big, big ones left SNL. So they're left with like nobody. <laughs> yeah. But they, this has happened to the Lord Michael before and he just has to start with a whole new crop. It's happened a bunch of times actually. Like nothing ever beats the early SNL though with like uh, fucking Bill Murray and Dan, Dan Aykroyd and fucking. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Chevy Chase, Chris Farley. Oh, the B- Bluto fucking, he died of like an overdose. Oh, uh, Belushi. Jim Belushi, or John Belushi, one of the two. Jim Belushi's the brother. Yeah. Jim Belushi's the, the less funny one out of the two. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming from fucking, fun. he did the one with Schwarzenegger. <laughs> he was either Red Heat or Raw Deal. I get those two mixed up all the time. <laughs> like, they suck. Like, Oh, well, they're all right, but it's yeah. just not, not not like Schwarzenegger's best when you talk about Schwarzenegger's best. It's always like Running Man and Terminator and Predator and Total Recall. Commando. Commando is what every Schwarzenegger movie has got. Like, I, I'm looking forward to doing that month. That's going to be a too. fucking fun month. <laughs> it's going to be funny. A lot yeah. of action. Yeah. And like, we, we could do fucking Batman and Robin and just laugh our ass off at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It, uh, nah, we'll, we'll figure that one out later. So he dies. I forgot that he died in this. I'm like, oh, fuck. He did. Well, he, yeah, he I forgot died. about that, too. He, like, temporarily. I remember that. Course, yeah. He gets hit by the by the truck. Oh, well, 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 when you kneel on the street, you get hit by a truck. Yeah, you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole part of this movie I just was really not into, either. Yeah. When he's talking to God, he's got the, that the, stupid, the stupid look on his face. Yeah, I I know what you mean. I was like, uh, and he's doing the prayer and he's praying to so she could find somebody. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, I know <laughs> that turned me off too. Like I, I'm pretty sure he was with Jenny McCarthy at that time, and she's fucking like wacky. She's a wacky one. She's like anti-vaxxer. So like I'm, I'm sure she had like, or maybe what well, he wasn't with her. This is weird that he didn't end up with uh, fucking Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, maybe I bet you might have dated her for a little bit. I bet you. I just didn't hear about it because Anderson had the like that fucking hardcore public shit. It's like really tabloid fodder. Her Brad Pitt and Angelina. So like yeah. it, she after that you don't you don't even know who Jennifer Anderson is like married to. I think she is married now. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, well after that you just don't want shit to be public. <laughs> like no, I don't even want fucking deal with the shit. Fucking like Pete Davidson within fucking oh yeah oh that's shit Kim Kardashian and uh, yeah yeah so like I said around the end he comes back and he, now he's like the better guy if you remember everything yeah he's, like smiling like a goofy motherfucker yeah and it's like ah uh, you kind of suck <laughs> <laughs> yeah and this movie's all right like I wouldn't definitely wouldn't put it up there with like all the the ones we've already talked about. No, like Ace Mature is better, Liar Liar is better, uh, Me, Myself, and Arena is much better, Dum Dum is yeah. better. This is like on the lower end. We just kind of thought, what about this well or the about. mask? And the mask is better, yeah. The mask is a bit better, yeah. This was, I only gave this one a 7.5 out of 10. I think I might have given Liar Liar that too, actually, or I might have given it an eight. It's close to that because I, I have my, my gripes with the Liar Liar too. Like the second yeah, act, like the second act of Liar Liar is really good, but then it's like the first act and the third act, Liar Liar. First act's good. Well, it's, it's just, all right. It's this is the, the second he gave, he makes a wish, and the I second know, he says I've had better is when it really. Yeah. Gets good. <laughs> like I this is the it really gets good when he when he gets the powers. So let's say the second act is probably the best part of this. The first act is just like him suffering, like in. Yeah. It's not funny at all, really. <laughs> Hey, what'd you give it? I gave it a 7.1. 7.1? 7. 
Yeah, so you're like kind of lower. It's not. It's still above average. Yeah, but it's... it's just. I I liked it like a like quite a bit when I was a kid. And I rewatched it. This the second time. Like I rewatched it. Yeah, that he's, he's I keep definitely it like more as like a kid guy. Yeah, yeah I think he especially knows after that we watched all the ones we've watched to this point, it kind of shows. Like I, I can notice more. Like nah. he's just he really losing it at this point. And like, yes, man, if I'm with Dick and Jane are like, okay, like they're on the same boat as this one. And I guess before, prior to this too, he did, well, no, it was a little bit later. Well, he did the he did Grinch. Eternal, Eternal Sunshine right after pretty much. Yeah. And like a year later, I think he's probably went on to do Eternal Sunshine, like right after he finished. He wrapped up with this movie. Yeah. But yeah. So I guess we're moving on to, uh, well, let's do. Number 23. Well, I kind of want to do Cable Guy too. Yeah. We'll figure good. it out. Right. We'll be back in the next couple of days, probably. With we'll figure it out. Probably do Cable Guy, and then we'll we'll change gears because it's kind of a good way to because it's, it's a little bit of a darker movie. The Cable yeah, Guy, and then because Ben still likes to do that, he likes he's a he's kind of got a darker type of yeah. Because what else did he? He did Tropic Thunder as well, which is phenomenal. Did, did he do uh, what's that movie? Duplex with Drew Barrymore. He may to kill have their done neighbor. that. I don't know if I ever that was saw kind of that. dark. It yeah, makes sense it, now if he did. Feels like a like Danny DeVito movie. Danny yeah, DeVito's it does. Like, yeah, got, got a, like a dark death uh, smoochy and shit. Yeah, like Drowning Mona's good too, and they kill fucking Bette Midler. Like yeah. everybody's like uh, Death of Smoochie is good though. Yeah. I do like that movie a lot. I was even talking about Matilda when I was a kid. I didn't really hate that movie. I like the book though. It's like a darker yeah. kind of book. I like Rob, Roald Dow. The book's good. Like, uh, what, what else? Uh, the Charlie did the Chad Chocolate Factory book is so much better than the movies, too. Oh, yeah, it is. I don't, I don't mind the Gene Wilder one, but yeah. So, I guess, uh, check us out on Spotify and check us out wherever you get your podcasts and YouTube and blah, blah, blah. We'll see you probably next couple of days, guys. Peace. Right, peace.